So, uh, let's take a quick look at the store. I think I did this already the last time, yes. I remember the Cyclops part being there. And some rifle parts, an urban mech. Oh, they do have some nice AC tents. Extra accuracy. I will buy this one. New weapon systems available. As the AC-10 is a good damage dealer. 25% extra crit damage is not as good on an AC-10. Crit damage is usually very good if you're targeting or if you're damaging its uh, internal system. So if you're doing core damage. And an AC-10 is usually designed to be a can opener. So it will uh, tear off the outer armor. And then with other weapons you will try to hit the juicy internal parts. This AC2 is an extra damage AC2, which is interesting. And a UAC20. That's a lot of damage. Can I actually make a quad shot UAC20 super shredding crap? That's a insane amount of damage output. Nevertheless, next mission. One man's art. A recovery mission. Against the local pirate organization. That we can allow us to piss off the pirates a bit. Uh, wait, we have about a thousand experience points for each one of these guys, which means we can actually do something with you all training confirmed commander mm -hmm. now i do want okay yeah it's still the same you can only have two of these um ability paths but you can also only have three abilities in total now sure footing will allow me to Get more evasion and less stability damage, which can be good. However, Bulwark gives me access to reduce damage. Yeah, it's 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 going to be Bulwark again. Mech warrior training complete. Crackle, get your guts up. Training complete. Waiting for orders. Pylon, just be a better pilot and a better gunner. Slacker, upgrade all these. Traveler, you can be... Okay, Traveler is going to be an ace pilot as based on his name. So you're going to go the piloting uh, specialization. Training complete. Vision is going to be a master tactician. Training confirmed, Commander. Once he's fit again, and who will just upgrade these base abilities for now? So, now let's do some contracts. One man's art, let's do this. I want more money. Uh, looks fine. Hit it. Yes. So the art mission is basically a double pickup uh, while you, and while you're picking up an item and an artist you are also being attacked by a small land. However, because this is only a half skull mission, I'm not expecting any large opposition. However, it's also uh, the pirates which are the opposition and pirates do have tend to have bad intel. And by bad intel, I mean they are usually up for a surprise and come better equipped or better staffed than you think that they would. Nevertheless, straightforward, find the target and just carry him out. As such, go here, oh, go, yeah. So the light max will do the pickup while the heavy max will be running along here. Trying to deal some damage. I got you. On my way. Roger that. Acknowledge. On my way. Uh, 
And that's the enemy contact. Let's go double down. And this looks like your basic run-of-the-mill ambush. Uh, do a jump all the way down here. So you are out of the line of fire. Wow, we can jump all the way over here. Do that. Is that a crap? Nevertheless, just fire. Just fire lasers. They both miss. Where is this a commando? It's a commando. And another 20 ton mech. So, now you see why it's always good to have some missile racks on your mech. If you can't see anything, you can always indirect fire. Confirmed. And you may do a jump so that we get along faster. And you are going to do the same, just lob some missiles over there. Ooh, we hit the set. That's a lot of bips. So, there are some reinforcements in here. Oh, do a sprint. We have to get the spider out of there. I'm under heavy fire. So, fall back. As good as you can. Oh. We're going to do a fall back strategy where we will fall back into more safe zones. We got hit in the core. We have to be very careful. <laughs> you can see this. Uh, we're falling back, pulling them in, and then we will flank them with these heavier mechs and just obliterate them. Yeah, both of them are dangerous. However, hitting him is easier. So, take a good revenge shot. Just like that. And he's hard to hit, but if we actually hit him with something, he will probably die. So, let's just try it. Just like that. Just knocked his leg off. However, this also means we're still on sensor range. <laughs> now, if we move all the way over here, we can take a good look at both of these. So, what's that? That's a galleon. A medium laser and two small lasers. Actually. Uh, 
Don't shoot your missiles, just shoot your lasers and that should kill him. <laughs> I do like this, this lag sometimes where you just go, ah, didn't I kill him? And then he just explodes. Yes, I did. Move back in there. Hey, he got a solid hit in his core. Now shoot him in the core and maybe this will end him. Or just destroy more bits of... Ah, pilot incapacitated. Good. Now. Does this guy really think that he can take me on? It seems so. You're going to suffer the same... Um, yeah, he's going to say I suffer the same as this other locust I was shooting at. Just destroy him, please. Ah, we missed with the good gun. And then we have who left. More terrible shots or more better shots? I just move in here. I'm rolling. And maybe with a bit of luck. Right torso, right arm, and yeah, he's pretty much knackered. So if you do a little jump, let's say, oh, or can I? No, I cannot. Also, this is a Jenner, so walking up here and giving him a good shot should be more than enough to kill him. And there he goes! I do like how these small tanks just explode. Pylon, you may move over here and take two cheeky shots at him, <laughs> which you both missed. Idiot. Well, he seems to be backing off. And missing everything. <laughs> ah, move in there. Give him a proper burial. Oh! <laughs> That's going to suck. Just destroyed his cockpit. And you may sprint over here. And reserve this, please. What is this? A scorpion. It has an AC5. It had an AC-5. And there it goes. Mission complete. Successful. Let me just take a real quick sip. So we got a whole 30% more money, which mounts us up to a Small hundred thousand. Also, we have a ton of parts from which we can choose. None of these I actually want. The Locust 1S is a missile variant. And the E is the la has four lasers. Up to four lasers and two small lasers. Oh, let's get the E. Thank you very much. So, 
So let's see if we can do another quick contract and then I will probably be moving on from this planet as this all is not very capture base. Yeah, this sounds interesting. Interesting enough because these missions are a bit easy, even with the B team. Immediately deploy. Yes, it's damaged. I don't care. So we have learned that the Capan forces have constructed a forward base on Bonavista, ignoring the express wishes of the local governor, blah, 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 blah. You are um, to seize the base and halt it until legal claim on the facility will then sell it back to them at a considerable discount. <laughs> Command interface initiated. The Capella facility that we're here to uh, that we're here to capture should just be a head commander. Before we go to the base, let's get an eye on the enemies. Uh, once it's that good hunting. So let's slowly move in. This is a small base with turrets. I see one, two. Three, and there's definitely a fourth turret somewhere. And there are also some enemies over here. Two light max. Is it the flea? Ah, it's not the locust. And let's see what this other guy is. 35 tons of fire starter, maybe? It's a panther. Also, did you get hit in the core again? No, in the shoulder this time. Now, well, let's use the small max first. Both of them are semi-easy to hit. LMR 5 medium laser. This one is more deadly at the moment. So shoot it, please. And you may move into here. And obliterate him, please. Good shot. And the Windicator should be able to take him out with his PPC. Maybe not. However, he lost his left torso and he lost his right torso, so he's basically a walking stick. Which is almost that. And maybe just jump all the way, no, all the way over here. So that you have a tremendously high evasion. And so that you can get rid of this guy. I missed. God damn it. Jump some more. <laughs> and this panther just doesn't want to go down. I could kick him, but I will probably kick him with the uh, Centurion. So just get into range. Even though it pains me, kill him. There we go. Ah, so close. 
We are so close to not hitting me in the face. So move in like this and just, well, actually. Try to core him. Well, things went boom. That's good. Could kick him. I want to kick him. There goes his left torso. And a quick shot in the back. And that's him gone. On my way. There don't seem to be any turrets. Oh, not that far. Now, the Jenner may capture the base by jumping air right in and look this way. And the spider will be looking this way. Okay, so there seem to be reinforcements somewhere. I would su suspect that the reinforcements are up here. Enemy contact, where? Let's reserve. There they are. Uh, let's reserve a little bit more. And a bit more. Okay. So, the big guy will walk over the mountain. A fire starter. I do want some fire starter parts. Shoot him in that, please. We didn't manage to shoot him in the head. Just shoot him normal. Well, there goes the slack. And maybe we can tear off his other leg. And then we have some sweet fire starter parts. Activate your missile launcher. Ooh, yes, this can work. 15%. Damn it, I caught him. Well, uh, we will at least get one part of the fire starter. And you may sprint all the way over here. Yeah, I want you a bit out of reach. And a tiny little commando, which is fine. Get obliterated. Ha! 
That's a complete miss, but now he doesn't have any evasion pips, so hitting him will be a bit easier. Perfect range. Shoot him. There goes his torso. That poor commando is just getting completely obliterated. And a PPC shot. And he's gone. Good job, everyone. Mission successful. And, well, at least we got some money. Spider still damaged, but it should be fine. I have a fire starter. Amazing. Now, fire starters are just the most amazing mechs in the whole game. They're my, my favorite scouting mechs, because you can arm them to the teeth with small weapons. And flamers. Flamers are especially good. But usually I build a punch bot kind of mech. Uh, put the mech, send it to storage. Mech bay. So, first of all, full armor everywhere. For now. I do have some flamers. Which could be an idea. How many more small weapons do I have? We could give him some small lasers in addition to that. Now, he needs some jump jets. He needs to be mobile. Uh, let's go a little bit more down with the armor. And I could add another jump jet and two normal lasers. One in his this arm and one in this arm. Now I think this is more or less the standard output. However, as you see, we have six laser points and six small weapon points. We can add a total of 12 lasers on this bad boy, which means we can output a total of 270 damage laser based only. Also, his melee attack is nothing to be a uh, uh, afraid. Oh no, no, wrong, wrong word. Is, is you have to look out for his melee attack. He is, for his size, he is a huge damage dealer. But having a flaming bot is probably the better idea. And we will probably cover him completely in flamers at some point. As flaming allows us to capture more max or put max into a consistent shutdown state, which allows us to do more cold shots. So this will be the setup for now. Logged and noted. Shouldn't be too hard. Also, I want to switch planets. Interdiction. Well, it's an ambush convoy on the moon. And B team is a capture base with some easy targets. And you are going to, which space are you going to? Let's see, navigation, star map. We are here and we have a travel contact to over here, but I was already on Joppa and I don't want to return to places I have already been. What's this? Of unknown origin, Flashpoint campaign. Ah, 
So this is the <laughs> expect to drop one more heavier or highly armored max. So we can't do this yet. However, as this is a flashpoint campaign, it will not drop out of sync. So we have the unwelcome guest, Lost Tech rewards. Uh, it's a short campaign. It's four skulls. No way we can do that. Prototype. Oh yes, we do want to do prototype. So let's try to move up north. And if I see this correctly, we can either... Well, this will take 28 days. We can either go... Well, I, I actually... What, what is over here? This is easy. This is harder. This is harder. Is there a way to see if I can jump from here to here? Maybe we will skip. Well, do we want to skip? Agriculture, electronics, moons, periphery level. What's over here? Agriculture, gravity, volcanism. There's a black market over here. There's a black market over here. And okay. So I'm thinking about moving in like this to this checkpoint uh, to this uh, flashpoint. It will take 174 days, and currently moving from here to here is 15 days. So 15, 30, 45, 60, 75, 90, 105 days would we require to get here if we take a stop at each of these planets. So we should immediately as the next point upgrade our engines which are we doing this ship upgrades what are we doing right now i don't think we're doing anything so drive systems improved power conduct structural repair i think we're doing the mech bay aren't we yes we are doing the mech bay So, first of all, now wait, do repair the spider for now, it only takes a day. I want to refit the Vindicator. You are at a decent heat efficiency. LRM5 takes two tons, a LRM... 10 takes 5 tons, so I would have to shave off 5 tons of stuff. The small laser is half a ton. Hmm. If I... 7... 5, so maybe put in a large laser, remove the LRM5 uh, and replace it with an LRM10. Uh, move the medium laser into the arm. We actually have two small. Oh, look at all this armor. Just reduce its armor a bit in the arms. Drop the small laser. This will reduce our firepower a bit. As we do not have the PPC anymore. However, our heat efficiency is going through the roof at the moment. So we can actually also repair this. Drop two of these heat sinks. Yeah. Add another large laser. <laughs> Now, 
this is reduce heat efficiency. However, it is more practicability. So we now have three medium laser, an LRM-10 for long range combat, a large laser and three medium lasers. How long would this take? Uh, quite a lot. So let's just repair them for now. Then get the Woken up and running, and then get the Firestarter up and running. So, uh, navigation, star map, Samir. I want to go over here. This is going to be very boring. However, that's what we have to do. Maybe we'll just skip through. So, let's move there. Until next time.